right. All right. Guys, you're going to be seeing, let me just make sure. If you know, I, I must first hide some screens that I've got open here. Just to make sure you guys don't get a surprise or anything. Let's first make sure it's the right screens are on. Okay, I'm going to be sharing now. Here we go. Okay, all of you can see my screen, correct? Yes, yes, I okay. can. All right, guys, so let me quickly tell you, I'm very passionate about my job. I'm very passionate about what I'm doing. Please, it's not going to be only me talking. Please interrupt me. This is not school, okay? I'm not going to feel you are rude. If you say, Yaku, Yaku, stop. I've got a question. Please do it, okay? Um, I'm going to answer all the questions at one point or another. So if I don't do it immediately, you're going to see I will get your answer or your questions. Let me quickly tell you first the short version and then the long version history of Stock Market College. So 17th of October this year, we celebrated our 20th year in business, our 20th year anniversary. Okay. So we've been 20 years in the business and we are the leading company, what we do. But we have some history from 1994 to 1998. Now, 1994, Stock Market College actually opened. Um, and then we obviously, 1995, President Nelson Mandela joined our company. He did his course through Stock Market College. And we realized it's a huge demand of South, for South Africans who wants to also obviously do this course. And the company didn't have the resources or the course wasn't big enough, good enough. And we closed down and we reopened in 2002 with the best course, with all the knowledge. We opened a, you know, a college in Midrand. So that's some of the history. And now we are an international business. Okay. We no longer a South African business only. Okay. So let me quickly share with you, guys, for you who don't know me, I'm Jaku Avanga. Okay. So this. Even if Amor invited you or Rob invited you or anybody, please, you're more than welcome to take my cell phone number. Okay, be in contact with me. If I want, if you want, need help and I can help you, perfect. Your go-to person, any, everybody here. You're afterwards, you want to get Amor's telephone number. I'll ask her at the end to put it, post it for us on the chat so that you can all have her number as well. But if you feel you want to make contact with me, more than welcome to make contact. Then the website of Stock Market College, the website of Quick Trade, and the physical address of our offices in Rosebank. Now, guys, let me quickly start. From 2002, when we opened, they, what happened was then people could only attend. I'm more, they, I see there's more people in the waiting room. Uh, let me quickly admit all of them. Okay, so there's, let me just wait. Okay, guys, so when we opened the college in 2002, people had to come to the college and attend the classes at the college. Now, if you stay far or not in Pretoria or in Johannesburg, it would have been difficult for you to attend the class. So we then obviously had to go with that way. Once you were done with your course, then we assigned you to the brokers. We had about 14 different brokers that we um, trusted and gave, gave our clients to them to start trade with. Soon we realized, soon, very soon after that, we realized South African brokers are terrible. They are really terrible. Okay, this call has been recorded, so I'm saying it to you, all of you. They say one thing and do something completely opposite. They will make all these promises on their websites, but yet deliver total opposite. Okay. Not as good, not as good as what they promoted. Then we realized, and our clients were not, was not happy with it. So we opened our own brokerage firm in 2014 called Quick Trade. Now, Quick Trade is a financial service provider. Okay. So if I just zoom in here, we are a financial service provider. So it's going to be, it's very nice for our clients to know they are with a licensed broker. But also what was better, since 2014, while people were now doing the course, 
immediately they can start trade and make money. Before 2014, you first had to study. And once you are done, now you get a broker and now you can only start making money. Guys, now from your first class, you can start trading and make money, okay? So that's very nice. Our clients love it. And obviously there's good backup and support from both these sides. Now, I wanna tell you quickly, some of you might have the experience and I'm telling it to you out of my own mouth. I was a sales consultant for three years, okay? And I can tell you now, don't trust any salesperson in your life. Why? They only going to tell you the good news. They only going to tell you the, the good things that you want to hear. Today, please see me as the salesperson. Don't believe what I'm telling you. Okay, let's see what our clients got to say about us. So before we get to, hello, Peter, I want to show you quickly here. This is our FSCA license, our FSP number 45262. Now, here is the website. Hello, Peter. Who often, are you guys familiar with Hello, Peter? Yes, we are. Okay, um, no. let's quickly see. Rob, is that, you are familiar with it. Yes, I've heard about them. Okay, Ronaldo, are you familiar with them? No. Not familiar. Mika, are you familiar? Yes, I am. I have posted on it before. Okay, yes. So, guys, let me quickly explain. Hello, Peter is a terrible, terrible website, okay, for most companies. They hate Hello, Peter, okay? Why? Because they get threatened by clients. I'm going to go take you to Hello Peter. I'm going to post about Hello Peter on you. That's a, it's a website where you can write reviews about companies. Now, I'm going to quickly ask you, who banks with FNB that's extremely happy with FNB? Anybody here? Yes, I bank with FNB. Okay, who's that? Buyela. Buyela, okay, and tell me quickly, are you happy with them? Most times, yes, but I've taken them to Hello Peter once. Oh, you also already also took them. Okay, I want somebody, let me quickly explain to you. I'm going to go to Hello Peter quickly, just for the people who don't know, okay? Hello Peter. All right, guys, so I'm going to go here to Hello Peter. I'm going to quickly punch in. You can give me companies' names, but let's quickly take FNB. I love them. I'm with FNB, okay? I love them. They're a brilliant bank, okay? But Capitec as well. Let's see what people say about Hello about FNB. Well, guys, if we, if we just look at the stars, it's terrible. <laughs> FNB is apparently a, a bad bank, a crap bank, okay? Only got in one and all star from their clients. Clients say they trust FNB only 3.9 out of 10. That's terrible. Okay. Let's quickly see Capitec Bank here. They also a very nice bank. Who's happy with Capitec Bank here? Yes, I am. Okay, I am. who's that? Rob. Rob, okay, so you are happy with, with Capitec Bank. And Robert. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me quickly. I'm going to scroll back. I want to put the name here. Capitec Bank. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's see what. Well, it's a terrible bank. Okay, also only got one and a half star. People say 3.7. So even less than they trust them less than, or yeah, they trust them less than what FNB's clients does. Guys, now you can see uh, Capitec is becoming a nightmare. Okay, that was summer, what, um, this was 4th of December, so today. This person on the 4th of December, sick without sick note, I don't know what's that, okay, unauthorized debit order, Capitec Bank, Kyle's Refere, Main Road, prepaid electricity, people love complaining, guys, I think we need to realize that, okay, it's a very difficult industry to keep clients happy, now let's show you. Here is quick trade. On Hello Peter, we scored five stars. 
our clients love what we do. They give us five stars. Our clients say they trust us 10 out of 10. Okay, just to be honest with you, it does sometimes go to 9.6. We took the screenshot when it was at 10.10. .10. But guys, even when it's 9 or 9.6, 96% trust ratio from our clients, I think it's awesome. It's brilliant, okay? And we are ranked at number two in the financial services. Now, let me quickly show you this client. Here's a lady. I think it's an old lady. She says, yeah, I made my best choice trading with them. Um, my experience so far has been wonderful with Quick Trade. The service is amazing and quick. It's been great working with Ashley. Thank you for your patience. And you even taught me the meaning of patience in life. Now, guys, I don't know this client, but I think she's an old lady. Why? I think she was a bit slower than the rest of the class. And she wasn't left behind. Ashley obviously helped her to, get, to gain knowledge. But let me show you this one. I posted this one here. You'll see why. Okay, so Nayasha, let me tell you, he's one of my clients. He's a 23-year-old boy. Um, he might be also on this. I don't know if he's on here, but he might, he's invited people maybe. Now, Nayasha was his mother signed him up for the course. She gave him like 3,000 rand to start trade with. She gave him 3,000 rand to start trade with. He says here, yeah, the support. Guys, if there's somebody with, can all of you quickly mute yourself? If you talk, just unmute. I see there's somebody with background noise. Okay, let's see, it's gone now. Okay, so Nayasha says here, yeah, it's great, uh, great first day experience. The support I got from Sina Messini from technical support department was phenomenal. On my first day, I'm already comfortable with the platform. I couldn't have asked for a better account manager than Jaku Avanga. Just so that all of you know, I'm that Jaku Avanga. Okay, the guy. So that's why I put it here. The man is amazing. Can I just read it again? I love it. Okay, the man is amazing. He explained to me the benefits of learning with Stock Market College. Now, guys, with that to say, okay, would you agree with me? I'm going to ask quickly, Mika. Mika, if you're trading with us and you're busy losing all your money, are you going to give us still good feedback and say how wonderful we are? Are you going to do it if you lose all your money? If I lose my money, it's my fault. How can I be cross with quick trade? Okay. Well, you've got it spot on, but I want to quickly ask somebody else then. Ronaldo, if you lose all your money, I talk about all your money. You don't make money. You just lose money. Um, are you going to still say we are the best and we help you? And are you going to give us good feedback? No, if I lose all my money, I'm not going to give you good feedback. You're going to write a review. If I on lose all team. the time. If I lose yeah. all the time. No. Okay. You're not going to do it. Guys, let me quickly explain to you. The reason why our clients give us good feedback is only, is only because they are getting what they signed up for. Okay. They get absolutely the best service and they getting, they making money. Okay. So, Nayasha made $96 on his first day trading with 3,000 rand. He started with 3,000, made $96 in profit. Guys, that's about 1,600 rand in profits that he gained on his first day. Okay, so is it possible? Yes, people do it daily. All right, then... So people are giving us good feedback. I always say to people, even if we have bad service, as long as people are making money, people will still say they love us. Because what? The main aim is not good service. The main aim is I want to make money. That's why I joined Quick Trade. Okay? And we, you will get good service. You can see from clients. But you will make money also. Okay? Especially if you have knowledge. Guys, that's the most important. Now, I'm going to make it a slideshow quickly. So there's a few of you who have traded before. Now, you can trade, obviously, shares. 
We don't do South African markets anymore. There's not enough money to be made in South Africa's companies, okay? So we do now the American market, your Dow Jones, NASDAQ indices, you can try. Then commodities, oil, gold, platinum, grain, and then Forex, your currencies that you can try. Now tell me quickly here, who is a person that have tried it before without quick try? Anybody here that's on the air that tried it? So it's currently trading, but not with us. Let's quickly see. Anybody? Uh, yeah, I traded with uh, the reef. By the reef. The reef. Okay. Yeah. And where did you gain your knowledge? Sorry? How did you gain knowledge about trading, Ruella? I read a lot of books and a lot of practice. But sometimes it's not so good. So I'm still learning. Okay. And YouTube, have you tried YouTube? I've seen, yeah, I've been on YouTube. I've, I've watched a lot of uh, videos and read a lot of books. Okay. Let me quickly explain to you guys how well I know people and the markets. Riella, please tell me how your trades went. You made money and then you lose money. Then you make money. Then you lose money again. Yes. Okay. That's the recipe of self-taught traders and YouTube traders. Just so that all of you know, I've seen this morning a video on YouTube, how to do a knee transplant. So if any one of you have got knee problems, please make a booking with me. I'll fix your knee. I've checked the video on YouTube how to do it. Yeah. Guys, you realize with me, you realize you can't trust it. Rather go to a doctor who went to a university and who got a degree, okay? He's going to do it. I'm going to mess up. I'm going to mess you up further. Now, that's exactly the same. You cannot learn by YouTube traders. You don't know that person. So we are going to teach you to trade your shares, commodities, and Forex. While you learn, we're going to send you trading signals as well and tell you exactly what to buy, when to buy, and when to sell. 98% of South Africans who trade they are self-taught traders, YouTube traders. They're reading books. They make money, lose money, make money, lose money. 2%, including myself, trade successfully. I'm trading consistently, making money daily from trading. Okay? So some of you who know me or have been invited by me, you know, obviously, I share all the screenshots of my trades and all of that. I'm not shy or... I'm ashamed of it because I'm proud I'm making money daily. Now, we will get you part of the 2%. Everybody on this Zoom, you will be part of the 2% if you choose to learn how to trade. You will make money daily. We'll teach you how to be consistently and making profits daily. Okay? Now, share price movements, guys. Share this one of three things. It can go up, down, and forward. In this case, you see up and down, up and down, up and down, and forward in time. But you can also see this chart goes in an upwards direction. When a market goes in an upwards direction, they call it a bullish market. Okay? Why? Did anybody, does anybody know the reason why? Mika, do you know why they call it a, a bull market? It's higher lows and higher highs. Okay. There's a short, easy, easy answer for everybody. When a bull attack you, it will lift you up. Okay? That's why they call it a bull market. The market goes up. A bullet, when it attacks a person, it will throw you up in the air. America got a statue right in front of New York Stock Exchange with a bull. Okay? That's about to attack some, something. Okay? Bending down. So he's going to obviously throw up. Now... South Africa's economy does exactly opposite. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down, downwards. They call that a bearish market. A bear, when, it, when it, a bear attacks a person, it will push you down to the ground. Okay, and I guess then eat you or kill you. In South Africa, we also, the government recently decided they also want to put up a statue in front of Santon in front of the Johannesburg Security Exchange. They said they're not going to put up a bear. They're going to put up Cyril Ramaphosa there. He's going to represent the bear for us. 
okay pushing the country to its knees okay guys <laughs> we still call it a we don't call it a, a bear market in south africa a bull and a Cyril ramaphosa market he's the big bear in the country now the good news is you can make money on the way up and you can make money on the way down exactly what mika said obviously your long and your short rights okay you're going to be able to make money the banks trade 280 days a year guys we're not going to teach you anything that's new in south africa or new in the world that's how the banks are making money all over the world trading 280 days now the banks don't buy a year and sell it a month or a year later the banks will buy it at nine o'clock in the morning when the market is open and they will sell it before the market closed. Now and then it can sleep over and they sell it the following day. Okay. But they are focusing on day trading. So we're going to teach you exactly how the banks make money and how you can do it yourself. Now, let me quickly ask, Ronaldo, what do you do for a living? I am a cashier at a retail store. Okay, a cashier at the retail store? Dumasani, Lulefe, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thanks. What do you do for a living? Uh, at the moment, nothing. Okay, that's good news. Okay, believe me, that's good news. Okay, you, you might not feel that, but it's good news. Uh, <laughs> let's quickly see here. Uh, Rob, what do you do for a living, Robert? I'm on pension, uh, retired. Okay. okay, that's also that's brilliant news. Okay, so <laughs> let me quickly, Robert. What, Robert? What do you do for a living? I am trading now. I used okay. to do uh, multi-level marketing programs, networking, and uh, crypto. But uh, yeah, this is the okay. best. Yeah. Now you. Okay. So now you're only trading. Okay, guys, let me quickly explain why I asked this. I'm going to ask that the first person that was, let me quickly see, Ronaldo. You're working for a fixed salary. You're, you, get a, you get a fixed salary, correct, every month. Guys, now, if you're unemployed, you might think Ronaldo's better. Yeah, but she's come with problems with getting a fixed salary. The salary remains the same for 12 months of the year. And her bills are going up every month. Petrol goes up, electricity goes up, food goes up. Petrol came down two months in a row. Did anything else become cheaper in South Africa? Nothing. Okay. When petrol goes up again, what do they what do they say? Hey, petrol goes up, food goes up, electricity goes up again. Guys, that's the problem of every South African, rich and poor. The only difference is rich people will make sure their income can grow higher than their expenses. And that's what we're going to teach you today. Okay. How you can make sure your income can grow above your expenses. Now, it's a very easy concept. Your money needs to grow above inflation. Okay. So I'm going to quickly ask here one delay. Opa. Tell me one delay, unmute yourself. What do you understand about inflation? Um, what I understand about inflation is that um, the prices go higher than they usually was. So now you can't afford, you can't afford um, what you used to buy like a year ago compared to this year now. Brilliant. And people, no, that's, um, yeah. Yeah, you've got it hundred percent, okay. So guys, inflation is what cost of living goes up with every year. Now, the government say 4.4. Yes, they're going to push it up now to 7.7. .7. Okay? So they realize the popo is hitting the fan now. They realize now things are becoming drastically expensive. Is there any one of you get a salary increase of 6% per annum? Please tell me. I would be very happy if any one of you get a 6% salary increase. Anybody? 
Nobody that luck. Nobody that lucky. No. Okay. We're not looking for the government, Jaku. Okay. Who's that? Who's, who said that? Fani. Fani. Okay. Fani. Yeah. Did you say you are working for the government or you are not working for the government? As I am not working for the government, yes. so it seems that everybody here attending is also not working for the government for because the government. nobody vouch for six percent plus. Guys, let me tell you, the government pays you 6% per annum, okay, salary increases, 6%. Yes, I know some, in, some of them, teachers maybe got less or policemen got 3%, but majority of government people get 6%. Now, I'm just going to use Fani as an example. If Fani says, Yaku, I'm a policeman and I'm getting 6%, I will tell Fani to his face, Fani, you are getting paid way too much. This government is paying you far too much. And I think everybody would agree with me, but except Fani, he's not going to agree with me. Okay? Why not? Guys, you cannot trust what the government says. You cannot trust anything. Let me tell you. Recently, I saw two people who, who's not good in maths. Zuma and Charlie Stron. Okay? Now, obviously, Cyril Ramaphosa, he's very good in maths. That's why he pulled off to steal all that money. He should be good in maths to be able to steal that big amount. But let me quickly tell you, this is inflation. This is an old article from 2012. I want to ask here, have things become better or worse after 2012? Who can give me the opinion? What's your opinion? Worse? worse. Yeah. Worse. Okay, guys, now in 2002, we paid only 3 rand 61 per liter petrol. 10 years later, in 2012, 12 rand 22. I think we're going to pay now what? 24, 25 rand almost again? 24 rand a liter. Diesel is going to come down at least. Now, that gives you a 239% over that 10 years. If you divide it by 10, it gives you 23.9. How did the government say 4.4? Pop maize meal bread, 21.3. School fees, 19.4. Coffee, 19.1. One delay, does your coffee at least taste better than 10 years ago? Not at all. Umasani, <laughs> does your coffee taste better? No, it's still the same, actually. Okay. <laughs> Guys, things are not getting better. It only gets more expensive. That's the reality. Nothing gets better. It only gets more expensive. Now, what kills South Africa currently is exactly the two same things that killed Zimbabwe. Please, I want to ask, are there any Zimbabweans on this group? And be proud of it. I love Zimbabweans, okay? Any Zimbabweans here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, who's that? I want to see because I like Zimbabweans. Wait, who, who spoke? Kumasani. Gabriel. Um, okay, but who's Kumasani Lulefe? Is that not you? No, no, no. Gabriel. Um, yet. Um, Gabriel. Okay, let me just see. I don't see it. Show, it doesn't show me your face. All right, Gabriel. Tell anybody if I'm lying. Okay. Two things killed Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was a very rich country. Very rich country. Two things killed them. Yeah. A bad president and inflation. Right. That's the two things that killed Zimbabwe. Now, guys, in South Africa, we've got exactly the same. Not only one bad president, a history of bad presidents who's stealing and corrupting this country. And inflation is the result of that, that kills you. Listen to me. If you're not trading yet and you don't have education yet, it's going to kill you. Okay? Why? Guys, inflation, this means 20%. Let's, let's work on 20%. Now, we know things are a lot worse than 2012. But if inflation is 20%, that means your buying power Dolphins every five years. And that's a shocking stat. If you 
currently, I'm just using an example, whatever your salary is that you're currently earning, let's say it is 20,000 Rand. And I ask you, are you happy currently? Rob, um, Robert, let me ask you quickly. Whatever, don't tell us your salary. Let's say it's 20,000 or whatever you are earning. Are you currently happy as a South African? When you Absolutely work not. Salary? Okay, Absolutely not. not. Okay, not happy. So if Robert is earning 20,000 currently, in five years from now, things are getting 100% more expensive. He's going to need to earn double his salary, 40,000 rand, just to maintain his unhappy lifestyle. Guys, any one of you, Wandile, okay, Dumesani, Sean, um, Mika, Ronaldo, you work in, how are you going to double your salary in the next five years? How are you going to be able to double your salary in the next five years? Can't. Can't. There's no ways. The only way you can do it is, is if, your if your company can give you a 20% salary increase every year for the next five years. There's a 0% chance of that. Guys, that's what kills South Africans. Let me show you the alternative option. Okay, and can I quickly mention, okay, I hope that I don't step on toes. White people, Afrikaner people were the worst and I'm talking about my parents. They were the worst about them all. They, my dad said to me, Yaku, when you, he worked in the mine and he said, well, Yaku, when you finish your school, you're going to do your apiship, you're going to work in the mine. When you get a salary, you start paying a pension fund and you start saving money. Uh, yeah, so, they say something about that also about saving money that your parents say you must save money, but it doesn't work these days. Yeah. It doesn't work anymore. How many the, parents, the parents' old ways doesn't work, so you need to find something new or find something else to do it to yes, make your I, money grow. Yes. I'm always asking how many rich South African pensioners are there today that's rich and wealthy? How many mm. rich pensioners do you know? Okay. So they aren't. They aren't. If they are wealthy, it's most probably because they had businesses or they had other investments, not because of a pension fund. Okay. Now, guys, let me quickly show you Capitec Bank here. I took a small amount of five thousand rand. That's what I started trading with five years ago. Well, January it's going to be six years, so we can almost talk about six years. So five thousand rand. If you put it in Capitec Bank savings account and you get 6% per annum, okay, and you decide to leave it there for five years, in your first year, plus your 6%, you've made 300 rand of profit. Guys, I hope this excites you to put away 5,000 rand today for a whole year to only make 300 rand profit. Does anybody get excited about that small amount? No. Oh, no. Not a... It's terrible, guys. That's what the banks are giving you. Okay? In your second year, you've now 618 rand. In five years, you've made 1,691 rand profit. And due to inflation, your buying power is half of that. It's going to be 1,600, but it will have the value of 800 rand today. Guys, is it worth it to put money in the banks or to put money in investments? Yeah, is it worth it? Anybody that's maybe done it? Rob, definitely, Robert? Definitely not worth it. Not worth it. Guys, so let me quickly explain. It's not worth it, okay? But why do people do it? Well, lack of knowledge. They didn't know what's better to do. Due to lack of knowledge, let me show you what the banks are doing with your money. Okay, so I took five years and 5,000 Rand, and you made 1,691. Let's go. I can go to all the banks, APSA, Capitec, FMB, and Stan. I don't have NetBank on here. But let's use Capitec Bank for an example then. So, yes, five years and 5,000 Rand. 
The only thing that's wrong with this picture is the banks are trading 280 days a year. I only took one day, 1st of June. 1st of June, 2018, Capitec Bank took your 5,000 rand. They bought Kiru Holding. Kiru is the private school in South Africa. They bought those shares at 106 rand. So 5,000 divided by 106, they bought 46 shares in, in that school in the morning. A couple of hours later, the same day, they sell those 46 shares at 203 rand. Now, guys, back in the account is 9,370 rand. Most of you realize now, geez, that's almost 100% profit. That's about 90% plus profit they made in one day. Now, that, act, that figure is 100% accurate. I'm going to quickly close the slide, show, the slide here, and I'm going to use my calculator. The bank made 4,370 Rand profit in one day, 100% accurate. What I'm now going to do is not accurate. I'm going to multiply it by 280 days a year. Why is it not accurate? Obviously, the more they make, the more they make, the more money they have, the more they make every day. I think most of you will understand that concept. Okay, compounded interest. Okay, they will make more because they have more. So this is not accurate, but Capitec Bank easily made 1.2 million in the first year. And what do they give you as a client? Only 300 rand. Yeah. Guys, you understand where the problem comes in? Okay. Yes. Let's, leave, let's leave the calculator. Let's say that's the amount they made in the first year. Okay, it was only one day. Let's say that was the amount. The second year, they obviously have more money now. They start trading. They buy low, buy more volumes, sell them high, back more money. The fifth year, in this case, only five days. Could have been a week. Okay. So in, in five days, they get 38,000 or in five years. Now it's payback time. Let's open the calculator. This was the amount for the first year that they made. It would have been a lot more, but not. that's why I said not accurate. It's going to be a lot more. But if they made 1.2 million in one year, multiplied by five years, Capitec Bank makes 6.1 million. Now they're going to pay you back as good as they are. They're going to pay you back minus your 5,000 Rand that you gave them, minus your 1,691 Rand of interest. Thank you, Robert, for being a good capital client. Here's your money back plus your interest. That's what they are left with. Still 6.1 million. Guys, do you understand what, what you are seeing now? The banks are stealing your money legally. You can't go to the bank tomorrow and say, Yaku said you are stealing my money. Okay. The banks are stealing your money legally. You signed for it. You didn't read the terms and conditions. The banker just asked you, please sign here, please sign here, please sign here. And you just sign. Come on, the bank won't steal my money. So it's going to be legal documents that I'm signing. It was legal documents, but you gave them permission to trade on your behalf. They make 6.1 million and giving you 1,691 Rand. Guys, a bank is a business like any business. The main goal is to make money. Now, you might sit there and think, but Yaku, just remember, you guys are also a company. Yes, we are. We also want to make money out of each and every one of you. Okay. So let's not, let's let it be not a surprise. Okay. So I'm going to be upfront. You are indirectly trading on the market. We're going to get you to trade directly. Okay. Indirectly, this is your self, your salary, or your money that you want to invest. Okay. You put away 5,000 Rand, you give it to APSA, Capitec, NetBank, you give it to them. 
Okay, I'm just going to switch on the light. Yeah, I think the... Okay, so you're going to give it to them. They will take money immediately from you. They pass it on to a financial advisor who also takes a cut. The, the financial manager wants a percentage, commission, asset manager, portfolio manager, and a stock broker. There's six middlemen, guys, between you and the stock market. This is the lucky guy, the guilty one as well, but he's the lucky one. 280 days a year, he makes money out of each and every one of you. Okay? He's making money. So he trades, buys low, sell high, and make money. After five years, he gets 6.1 million comes back to him. He gets the last time a percentage. Now he takes a big percentage. This guy gets the second time, second time, second time, second time. The bank gets a second time. You. Okay, and I'm saying it very respectful. You and me, the loser, are getting the first time a very small profit after five years. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm not happy with that. Okay, that I'm making other people rich instead of my own family, instead of my wife and my children. I'm making other people rich with the money that I work for. Okay, not happy. So what we're going to do at Stock Market College and Quick Trade, we're going to get you to trade directly. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to teach you the knowledge of a stockbroker. You're not a stockbroker. Please don't go and say, now Yaku said I'm a stockbroker. You're not a stockbroker. You have the same knowledge. Believe me, there's not a stockbroker in South Africa. I think I will be maybe wrong, but in the world, who knows anything more than what I know. Okay, I know exactly everything about the markets and still learning. Okay, but this the second thing this guy has is a license, he buys directly and sells directly. So, um, if you ever traded before, you've never traded directly, your money was always in a broker's account. So, you tell the broker, I want to buy Tesla or Euro USD. The broker's got your money and the money goes from the broker to the market. You are indirectly. You pay only these two people then. Not all of these, but you still got these middlemen. What we said is if we're going to give you a license, we're going to give you the knowledge and we're going to give you a license to trade directly. You can buy directly on the Nasdaq. You can buy directly from the New York Stock Exchange, American markets. And you can sell it directly. No middleman. But Quick Trade is the broker, the licensed financial service provider. We also are the license holder of MetaTrader 5. Now, a lot of brokers will say MetaTrader 4 is better. Guys, it's a 16 year old technology, MetaTrader 4. How was telephone, cell phones 16 years back compared to today? Okay, do any one of you still want a 16-year-old phone? I've got a Nokia 3310. If anybody wants a phone, I'll give it to you. You would not be able to take photos or even WhatsApp, okay, or Facebook. Okay, you can't do. Guys, MetaTrader 5 is the newest platform. It's an international platform. We bought the license. It cost us millions to bought the license. So we'll give you the best platform. Your first class will be platform training. Now, let me just tell you how it will happen. So just an example. I'm going to use Robert here as an example. If Robert decides tonight, I want to sign up and I want to make money. Tomorrow, he will get everything sorted for him. Tomorrow night, he can attend his first class. Okay? He can attend tomorrow his first class, how to use the platform. That will be his first class. Then Tuesday morning, Quick Trade will send him trading signals, telling him exactly what to buy, when to buy, and when to sell. So from Tuesday morning, Robert can start making money daily. Guys, that's how quickly you can make money. Okay? Where do we make money? Every time your money goes out of your account, Quick Trade, because you use our license, 
we get 0.57% commissions. You've got different accounts. You've got a spread account and commissions account. Okay, so I'm not going to go into detail with that now. But you'll pay 0.57% commission to Quick Trade. Now your 4,980 Rand is on the market. It comes back the same day, 6,000 Rand. On the way back, Quick Trade will get 0.57% on the bigger amount as well. So the more money you make, the more Quick Trade makes. Guys, I get a lot of people that says, Yaku, you are so nice. Can I quickly tell all of you a secret? I'm not as nice. I'm not really that nice. I don't help people because I've got angel, I've got wings coming out of my back. I only help people because I love making money. So if Robert was now with my new client, I'm going to help him everything, every day. Why? Because the more money Robert makes, the more quick trade makes, and quick trades will share with me 15% commission, brokerage commissions. So it's beneficial to me to help your, uh, for Robert as a client. Now, whoever invited you, whether it's Amor, um, whether it's Sephora, anybody, guys, I saw there's a few people here on here that invited you, okay? If they are employed, char, okay, if they are employed by Quick Trade, they will be helping you. If you've been invited by Fani, who's not a Quick Trade employee, He's my client. So I will be the one helping you. Okay. Why? Because I'm going to help you to make money because obviously quick trade is making money and I make money out of that. Guys, so don't ever question why we do what we do. We do it because we love. We are, if our clients make money, we make money. Okay. That's how the business works. Guys, so we're going to give you the best platform, the best education, and the best trading signals. So that's your educational part, okay? Your classes. Now, your second, third, and fourth, and fifth classes is going to be about the markets, okay? We'll get to that now. Your classes are going to be on Zoom, Mondays to Saturdays. You've got an online learner management system. You can write tests. If you got 80%, please, you can move on to your next class. I know South African standards are low. If you get 30%, you can still move on. But guys, listen to me. Please don't move on. Listen to me. Please don't move on. If you've only scored 30%, you are going to lose your money. Rather attend that class again, make sure you understand it properly. Now, if there's any Afrikaans people here, they will laugh there and say, yes, Yaku is terrible in English. I am. I'm really terrible at English. I attended the classes two or three times because I couldn't understand what these English, what they were telling me and teaching me. So no shame if you need to attend the classes more than once. I've done it a couple of times to do it. Now, then your class time. So here's the class times. Mondays to Fridays, 6.30 to 9 o'clock in the evenings. And we have in the mornings classes as well. And then on Saturdays, 9.30 to 12.30. And all our classes are being recorded. Okay. I had a client on Sonia. She joined the company. She sent me a message at half past three in the morning. I obviously didn't wake up or I didn't read it. I only saw it six o'clock when I woke up. She sent to me half past three in the morning. She said to me, Yaku, look at what you did to me but smiley faces afterwards. She said, the next morning I called her when I'm at the office. She said, Yaku, I love the platform training so much. I'd started doing the recorded classes afterwards. She said to me, guess what? Tonight I'm going to do exactly the same. My husband is sleeping. My children is sleeping. Nobody's bothering me during that time. Guys, if you have that guts to do it, I like my sleep. I love my sleep. Okay, but if you have the guts to do it, do it. There's people all over the world, different time zones, who's attending classes. Okay, they all feel that it's comfortable for them. So if you are working during the day, do the evening classes. You don't need to do the morning and the evening classes. 
Okay. So main modules, stock market concepts of trading, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, risk management, practical trading, and apply financial analysis. So that's what you're going to self-taught traders. If you've traded and you made money, lose money, here's the two reasons. You didn't know how to apply fundamentals. Okay, you didn't know how to apply it. The second thing is you don't apply risk management. Any of the existing clients on here, you can lose money on a trade signal if you don't make apply your risk management correctly. Okay, so I can get a signal and Robert can get a signal. Okay, he lose money, I make money on the same signal. Was the signal now good or bad? Dependent who trade. I apply the risk management and Robert, I'm just using Robert now as an example. He didn't apply risk management and he ends up losing. So you're going to be learning. I want to play you this video just so you have some history of me. And I, I'm going to be showing it to you. I started five years. January will be six years. Okay, so I started six years back. Started with the course with 5,000 Rand, which I didn't have. I borrowed 5,000 Rand from my parents who are long gone pens or pensioners. I borrowed 5,000 Rand because I didn't have money on my name. Lost job, didn't have money. The bank took my car, all of that. Started with 5,000 Rand. I started, you can trade three things. I started with shares. Clever people do it in three days. It took me five days to complete the course. Okay. But I started trading. And from day one, started trading and started making money. A year later, I decided, well, I'm good, comfortable with this one. Now I'm making good money. Let's do the commodity classes. It took me five days again. Six months down the line, I started doing Forex. Now, I was pretty sure I'm going to lose money on Forex. I was very scared of Forex, but I decided, well, now I've got enough money. Let me gamble 10,000 Rand. I'm sure I'm going to lose it. But I started attending classes. Guys, can I tell you? I love Forex. If you have knowledge, you can make money. I would suggest to people and say, start with your Forex. That's the easiest way to build yourself a portfolio. Okay, to build your account. So today I get to positions. Who, who's been invited by myself here? Can quickly anybody, Fani, can I quickly ask you? Yes, sir. Okay, Fani, did I share on Friday with you my trades? Yes, you have. How much did I make on Friday? 1.5 Zars. Okay, was it you? 1.5? In Zar, yeah. 1.5 M. Million. Okay, yes. that, was on, that was on Thursday. That was Thursday morning, correct? Friday, we, you had the nice tag. Let me quickly yeah. just... Uh, get I'm not going to go me. into detail, but let me quickly show yeah. everybody. On Friday only, I made a thing. I can't remember now how much I made on Friday, but let me quickly show yeah okay i'm just going to any of my clients quickly i'm going to show you guys yes it was okay. on friday it was on friday yeah the no, first of the no friday was the this friday's day that was the no friday wasn't the first um hmm. yeah this the first this the amount that Fani was talking about hmm. so dow jones nasdaq dow jones Ready? Sorry, Yaku, it's not showing on the screen. My apologies. Can you guys see? Can you guys see on my screen where you see my face? Yes, we can. Okay. Yes, we can. So that is a USD account. Okay, so that was in US dollars. So in USD, I made eighty-eight thousand eleven hundred US dollars. It's the first time ever. Please, this is not a normal. Okay, I was rattling that day. It was funny, knows the full history of that. But for one day, there's the date that I did the calculator. 
So 88,000 US dollars. South African rands, 1.5 million. Okay. Now, on Friday, let's just quickly see. Okay. On, I uh, don't share on Friday. But on Friday, it was about 30 or 40,000 rand that I made on Friday. Guys, you can, did I make in the beginning that much? No. When I started, I only make 200, 300, 800 on a good day. 300 on a bad day. Okay. You'll see now, but here's the video that what you will be learning, how, why you would make money daily. Let's quickly, um, let's play it. Have you ever wanted to learn how to trade on the stock market, but didn't know how? Well, now you can with Stock Market College. Stock Market College is South Africa's only accredited college teaching you how to trade on the stock market. Yes, accredited. Stock Market College is CETA accredited, so you can be assured of quality and relevancy of what you learn. The Stock Market College trading course is a unique online trading course, allowing you to study wherever you are with a unique blend of instructional videos and online reading material. After the course, you will be tested on what you learn through online assessments. So when you start trading, you can be assured that you know what you are trading safely with sound principles and knowledge to back you up. Course modules include the role of a stockbroker versus online trading, different trading instruments, commodities, forex trading, analysis of the market, stock market concepts, fundamental analysis of the stock market, technical analysis of the stock market, applied financial analysis tools, understanding trading patterns, charting analysis, trading journal, psychology of trading, risk management, tax implications, and so much more. So if making money on the stock market and empowering yourself through education gets you excited, then Stock Market College's trading course is just for you. Stock Market College. Stocks made easy. No, let's just... Okay, guys, just to correct, make a correction there on that video. It says Bank Sita accredited. We was Bank Sita accredited. Bank Sita failed. They took two years to reach out certificates to our clients. And we cancelled our Bank Sita accreditation. Because we couldn't tell people they're going to get a Bank CETA certificate, but you need to wait two years because everything in South Africa is slow and terrible service. So we cancel it. So please, no more, but you'll get a certificate of completion of the course. Okay. So that's the education. We will open a trade account for you and you're going to download and install your MetaTrader 5. Your trade account, we're going to require you for your FICA documents. That's your ID and proof of residence. Okay, that we're gonna ask for ID and proof of residence. Your MetaTrader 5, you can have it on your phone and computer, and you can obviously attend twice the platform trading, one for your phone and one for your, your computer. But you can also attend it as many times as you want to. So we're gonna tell you exactly what to do. We're gonna tell you what to buy, when to buy, and when to sell. So we're going to give you the TP, the selling price, 120. So we're not going to say sell at 120. We're going to say TP. Your take profit is 120. So you're going to buy it at 100. Let's say Tesla, for example. Buy it at 100, sell it at 120, but your TP take profit at 120. And your SL, your stop loss at 98. Here's an example, guys. It's now looking much better. I need to update this slide. Slides. Okay. Um, any one of our existing clients on here today will know it looks much better now, the trading signals. It will give you now. Okay. So let's quickly show you how it works. So I wrote here Monday. I'm going to show you five days. Look at the dates. It wasn't just the best dates or trades that I choose. I took five consecutive days. 11th of January, INTC. It's Intel. Quick trade trading signal, Intel, 11th of January, Intel buy at 45.25, take profit 51.10, stop loss 41.20. Now, these days, we will also give you a link 
that you can click on it and it will show tell you why did we say so either job or roger they will explain to you why did we suggest this trade okay and it will give you the risk and the rewards as well for your different lot sizes so if you st if you started with 5000 rand on the 11th of january you bought intel at 45 rand 25 you bought 110 shares you sell that 110 shares the same day at 51 rand 10 you back in your account is 5621 that's a 621 rand profit in one day now you remember the bank okay sean you remember the bank if you put in 5000 rand for the bank they will give you six percent per annum which was 300 rand a year now 300 divided by 365 days it gives you 82 cents a day now each and every one on this group afterwards i'll ask you for your bank account number i'm going to pay each and every one year 82 cents and thank you for an hour of your time i hope you will join me tomorrow evening again i'll pay you again 82 cents tell me nayati are you going to join me tomorrow again uh, no not a sister sis nayati okay for 82 cents guys that's what the banks are giving you five thousand rand on day trading you've just made 621 rand nayati if i pay you 621 rand today and i say thanks for being an hour with me i'll pay you tomorrow night again do you want to join me tomorrow night nayati Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll definitely join. Okay, thank you. Okay, so 621. Now, good news is, Nayat, you don't need to sp spend another hour with me. Okay, it takes you literally three to five minutes to do it. Okay, once you have the knowledge and you get on a signal. Now, the Tuesday, the 12th of January, HP, you buy low, sell high, made four, 487 profit the wednesday the 13th of january bank of america 536 thursday coca-cola 14th of january um, 406 and the friday 15th of january apple 456 you start with 5000 rand you did one trade each day that i showed you now after your five days, you end up with 7,506 Rand in your account. Guys, that's a, that's a profit of 2,500 Rand for the week. Now, if you divide that by five days, it gives you an average of 500 Rand a day. Now, remember the bank is giving you 300 Rand once in a year versus 500 Rand average daily. One one delay. Let's quickly pick more people. One delay, Mr. Nice, Karabu. Do you want to be this white guy? Or would you rather be this black guy? I'll be better if I'm a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. See, okay, so CBC so you. A black guy. <laughs> guys let me tell you i also want to be the black guy okay i also want to be it's not about the race i do not want to be this guy worrying about money every month not telling my wife we can't go on holiday this december telling my wife we can't pay or buy presents for the children i don't want to be that dad or that parent i want this guy i want to be this guy purely because making money daily okay so if you make on average 500 so some days 800 but some days 300 if you make on average 500 rand a day and you do one trade a day 20 days in a month you've made yourself an extra 10,000 rand now guys i have a lot of clients who do, does this 
I have some clients who does even less than that. They don't trade every day. And then I've got clients who does with 5,000 and they make 15 to 20,000 a month. It depends on what you're going to put in. It depends on your commitment. Okay. The more you trade, the more obviously you make. The main goal is you need to have knowledge. All right. Guys, I see there's a lot of messages on the chat. I will look afterwards and I'll quickly read it. Um, quick trade. Okay. So you'll have the education, the trade account, the Meta Trader 5. You'll have the license. And then you've got a live trading support room. Anybody here who have ever joined the live trading support room? Fanny, I know you have done it. Robert, Robert, you yes. also. Just please share with us your experience. How, was the, how did you experience the live trade support room? It is so knowledgeable in the sense that all the trades has been discussed, the reasons why and um, consensus, consensus is reached. I love it, Jaku. I really love it. And I can promote it to everybody. Okay. Robert, and your, your, your opinion? Yeah, I agree what Fani is saying. It's very informative. They tell you what to trade. And some of the traders that are on the guys like us can ask questions and say, what about this? Uh, trade or that trade and then they analyze it and then give the opinion and some of those trades turn out to be then giving us trade signals on the MetaTrader 5 platform and we receive our uh, emails or the the information about the trade the, the, okay. the trading and, signal so really it's and, very informative and do you feel you there's enough support if you want to ask a question or you need help you can feel free to ask it and they will help yep. you absolutely okay all right guys so thank you I like it if there's existing clients on, then I don't need to explain it, okay? Now, there's, then there's, okay, so that's the live trading room, and then there's live chat. Guys, from 8 o'clock in the morning during the week, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the evening, there's live chat. Now, any one of you ever called MTN or Vodacom or Telcom or your bank to sort out a problem, how long do you wait for them just to pick up the, the line before they can talk to you? How long do they take? Mika, what, what is your experience? Hours. Sorry, just a repeat, Rob? Yeah, they don't answer quickly. They take hours sometimes. Okay, yes. Guys, you hang up because you, you, it's your airtime that you're wasting to sort out the problem for, that you want them to sort out a problem maybe. Guys, our average response time is 25 seconds. Okay? So you can ask a question and they will chat back to you or you can look on video with them. But 25 to 40 seconds at the longest. Okay, they will get in trouble if it's longer than 40 seconds, depending on how busy the, line, the chat line is. But they will be easy, okay, to help you. There's also knowledge base. Let me maybe quickly perhaps share it with you okay gonna end the slide show you gonna quickly move let me quickly show you you guys see what pops up here at the bottom right hand corner of the screen okay now it just shows you a block it's obviously a sunday quarter past seven okay so there's nobody going to be online now but you're going to put in there you're going to open it but if you need help now at quarter past seven on a sunday there's knowledge base now, if you want to know, guys, they were laughing at me when I started trading and I learned about spreads. They asked me, what do I understand about spreads? I said to them, well, jam, peanut butter, marmite. And they were laughing because that's, not, that's, what I, that's the only English word I knew spreads is. You've got the difference between spreads and commissions accounts. So if you want to know more about it, Go to your knowledge base and you can read, okay? One of our clients said, no, he goes to Google and he Googles everything. He didn't knew we've got this knowledge base. So that's why I actually wanted to show it to you so that you don't need to Google something. Go to the knowledge base, base and it will tell you exactly what, what it is, okay? You can't always also trust every person's opinion about spreads and commissions or trading. Yeah, it's what Quick Trade says. 
Now, guys, there's a whole lot of things on the website, okay, that you can. What you can download our licenses. What most people love is same day withdrawals. If you've been with other brokers, it can take up to three to five days to withdraw your money. Yeah, you've got same day withdrawals. Some client says it never takes longer than three hours. Okay, your leverages, the best with MetaTrader 5. And we also tell people why MetaTrader 4 to 5. What's the difference between them? Okay, super fast, efficient. Okay, and then there's just a whole lot of reviews. Okay, again, that you can read from, from Hello Peter. Now, guys, the last thing is we are, near, we are done. Let's go to the course. Do all of you agree with me? The one thing that you need is you need knowledge. Anybody who still feels uncertain what they need. Anybody here? Guys, so yes, you're going to get the platform, MetaTrader 5. You're going to get an account. You're going to get trading signals. You can still lose money. You can't make money. You need knowledge. That's the only thing. Now, guys, so let's quickly go. I'm going to share quickly something. Only a certain people will know this page. Okay. There's opportunities for you to make money in US dollars as well. Okay. So if you become an affiliate, you can make money in US dollars. Okay. So I'm going to copy quickly this link. And I'm going to quickly share with you. Copy. I'm going to paste it there. All right. Yes, we do have Black Friday special still until the 15th of December. Okay. But I'm going to quickly show you the, okay. And you all see here says be an affiliate. That's how you will make money in US dollars. Okay. Earn commissions in US dollars. Please understand just very important about it. You need to have the course in order to be an affiliate. You cannot only become an affiliate. A more that's on the Zoom will help you as well. But you need to own the course to become an affiliate. Now, if I say view courses, we've got two courses. The financial market education training course, the FME course, okay? That's everything that I showed you tonight on this platform, okay, on the slides. Everything. The tools for the smart trader is only going to be portions very small part okay um so it's a very easy cheap course okay guys this course is 330 dollars one cell or 33 dollars monthly for 12 months i want to show you what you will be you know what you will be learning with this one okay there's the options i'm going to come to it now okay can you see the difference between these two courses, financial market education or tools for the smart trader? Can you see why the one is so cheap? $330. There's only two things. Whereas in this, on the blue side, you're going to be learning everything. Okay. And there's more. Okay. Four more on that. Everything on this one. If I, we say learn more. Okay. Don't sign me up, guys. Read the website. Okay, read, watch this guy's video. I love it. Okay, it, I, I love it. It was well, something to get used to, but I, I love it. Sounds great. Want to get started. They are the free options for the full course. Now, let's just quickly make it. I'm going to calculate a year that translate immediately, obviously, US to ZAR or ZAR to or USD to ZAR. So, a lot of people say this one is the one that they can afford. They feel comfortable. They say $64 a month, if it's not a lot, they can easily afford it. Now, that one, let me just get so that I can see myself. $64 works out to 1,122 Rand for 36 months. You pay a deposit and then 35 remaining months. So a lot of people say that they feel it's affordable and comfortable for them. Some people say no, they want to pay a bigger deposit and a smaller monthly fee. Then they pay 947. 947, it's 
16,605. Now on this amount and the 1,500, $27, we got the Black Friday special only on those two options, 30% discount, okay, on those two options. So here you're going to pay 16,600, well now less, plus you paid 333 Rand monthly. Now, I'm just going to go select one. Let's say we choose this one that's affordable for everybody about. Okay, there you can read what our clients are saying. This is your enrollment form to register. You're going to put in your name and surname, your email address, your physical address, okay? City, your province, your postal code, your telephone number. Make sure the right option is selected here. And then you can choose how you want to pay. Apple Pay or you want to pay by PayPal or you want to do your card, your bank card. My bank card says JJ Havenga. It's Jacobus Johannes Havenga. Then you put in the full names. Your 16 digits on top of your card, your expiry date, and your CVC. However, you can have somebody pay it on your behalf. So let's say I'm just using an example. Fani wants to sign up his child. So he wants his child to do the course. He's going to put his child's detail here, the person that wants to do the course. Details there. And Fani's only going to put his car his name there and his car details, and the dad will now pay for the child. Okay. So you can have somebody else to sponsor you as well. Please, the order summary, read, guys, your refund policy and terms of purchase. Then only click it. I know half of you are going to only just click and say complete purchase. Please read the refund policy in terms of purchase. Okay, we put it there so that you can see it. Okay, so read it. Once you complete purchase, you are registered for the course. Now, I'm going to go back to the screen. Okay, I want to ask names here. Okay, I'm not going to ask Robert. I'm not going to ask Fanny. Um, Rob, let me ask you quickly, guys. Unmute all of you yourself. Unmute yourself quickly. Rob? Any questions from your side? No, that was a pretty good uh, overview and costing. And I will say I had a chat with Robert and uh, uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. So this was like the cherry on the top for everything. So I, I'm pretty cool with it. Thanks a lot, uh, Jaco. Okay. All right. And Mr. Nice. <laughs> Mr. Nice. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I Yes, uh, only my question is it is about how much can you start this uh, this trade? Especially, I'm interested in forex, but uh, I have to learn a lot uh, in, in uh, college. Okay, can I quickly tell you? I started with five thousand rand, which I borrowed from my parents, and two years and two months later, I made the first time a million. Wow! But I had a I had one of my clients, an African guy. He made his first million in nine months, but he was unemployed. So where he does, I could only do about seven, eight trades, nine trades, maybe in a good day. He did 40 to 50 trades a day, and wow. he ended up making his first million. But to answer your question better, you don't need to start off with 5,000. We have no minimum, okay? But obviously, if you put in 100 rand, you're not going to be able to trade. I had last week or two, three weeks ago, a client who started with 1,500 Rand and he made in his first four days with the college while doing his classes, he ended up with 33,000 Rand in profit. Now, guys, wow. please don't, I, I'm not telling, I'm not saying to you, you're going to make 33,000 in four days. Hell, I'm saying it to you, you're not going to make it. Okay, but. That guy was lucky at the right place at the right time, but he had the knowledge and the support and he made, so you can start with any amount. Okay. okay. Um, okay. You can start Thank with you. any amount, but the more you put in, obviously the more you're going to start making. Okay. Yes, yes sir. but, uh, but uh, first I need to learn a lot from you. I can see. Yeah, you, you need to, to learn. learn. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's perfect. Very, it's very interesting. Serious. Right. I thank you, Mr. Rob, for inviting me nope. to this Zoom invitation. Nope. Nope. Not a problem. Sean? Yeah, okay, sorry, can I interrupt there? I think what the gentleman was asking was how soon can he train? As you know, once he starts the course, let's say he signs up tonight and he gets his details tomorrow. How soon can he start training? And I think that's okay. what he was getting at. Okay, remember, I've, I've used Robert as an example in the beginning. I said if Robert signs up tonight, he's gonna we're gonna open his account for him tomorrow, he's gonna get everything sorted on and installed. So tomorrow night, Robert can um, attend his first class. Okay, and on Tuesday morning. Robert can start trading and make money if he's got money in his trading account. He's going to get trading signals. But Tuesday morning, guys, all of you, if you don't have an account yet, you can, on, and we set up everything for you tomorrow morning. But Tuesday morning, you can be your first day that you make money. Okay. Guys, my question that I wanted to ask all of you, how much time are you still going to waste after today how serious are you about changing your lifestyle guys 2023 is around the corner now they, they always say if you want to have a nice body the ladies they say you build it you get the nice body in the winter if you want to get it you can't work on the nice body only in the summer if you want to have a better 2023 when should you start you should start now, guys. You should have been in the position where Robert and Fani is. And there's a lot more. Mika, and you should have been in your shoes where you already made money. Okay? Guys, get the education. I did the course twice. And I'm saying this to Robert, Fani, and every existing client. I got the course to 80% and I passed. And then I realized I don't want to know only 80%. I want to know as much as Roger, I want to know as much as my teacher knows. And I did the course again. And I did the classes till I got 100%. So I'm not lucky making good money daily. I'm educated and that's why I make good money daily. I'm, not, I'm just a normal person like all of you. Okay? At my age, I didn't even own 5,000 rand that I had to borrow it. But five years later, six years now later, Living like a king in South Africa. Okay, guys. The question that I want to leave with all of you is, how much time do you still want to lose? Okay, before you want to change your lifestyle. Guys, yes, there's my telephone number. Please make sure you've got my number. If you have more questions, chat with me tonight. Okay, you can chat with me today. But... Please make contact with the person who invited you. Okay? Um, make contact with the person who invited you. They will help you to register and they will help you to set up everything. Um, thank you for everybody who attended. You now know. You cannot say, I didn't know what to do. Okay? You need to act. Guys, there's thinkers and doers. Okay? The question that I want to ask is, are you going to be a thinker or are you going to be a doer? Okay, stop giving excuses for yourself. I don't have the time. Is that what your, is, is your children going to be happy? Because I'm getting very personal now. But are your children going to be happy with that answer? I didn't have time for, to, to make money. I, I didn't feel like studying at 40. Okay. What is going to be your excuse if you don't make money? Guys, December holidays is around the corner. If you want to have a better January, start now. If you say to me, Yaku, I'm going to start in January. Can I tell you quickly? You're not going to start in January. <coughs> You're going to struggle your ass off again, January. Like every year, this year will be, next year will be just more work. T terrible. Okay? February, you're only going to start recovering. In March, you will join us. You've missed out three months of the year already of making money. Guys, please make contact. Please get my number. I'll look at the chat now. Um, 
and I will see if there's anything. Um, please make sure if any one of you have um, or want Amor's number, please make contact. Amor also wrote on the live on the chat. So see the her numbers also on there. Okay, so maybe go through the live chat. And then if you guys are comfortable or anyone and ask more questions, please um, ask questions. I'll stay on till everybody is gone. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Yaku. Thank you for yours. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, no Yaku. problem, guys. Thank you, Yaku. Thanks, Thanks for Yaku. Okay, Thanks, bye -bye. Yaku. Thanks, Yaku. Thanks, Yaku. Bye-bye. Thanks, Yaku and Robert. Have a nice evening. No Thanks, problem. Thank you, Yaku. Robert, for enjoying. Have a nice day. Okay, Lawrence, we'll chat. Okay, sir. Thank you. Are you guys all uh, clear? Done? Mr. Yaku, how are you? Very well in yourself, Nayati. Hello, sir. Yes, Nayati. I'm, I'm good. Uh, okay. No, Nayati, I can't hear anything. Yes. Uh, uh.